little pee ball. It's a little crooked. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to um, record this video before my battery dies. I wanted to share with you guys my first Tory Burch purchase. I don't know if it's an official Tory Burch purchase just because I got it from Amazon and not the actual Tory Burch store or website. Um, so yeah, it was cheaper on Amazon than it was on the website so I figured you know save a little money and whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you guys and yeah um, and yeah we have a little guest here <laughs> so if you guys hear anything in the background that's Amari Mr. Amari <laughs> So yeah, let's get to the video. So like I mentioned, I got my first Tory Burch purchase on Amazon. And I must say Tory Burch is really expensive. But I've been really wanting this backpack for a while just because it's super cute. Um, I was actually going to try and save my money for a Gucci backpack that, like, kind of reminds me of this backpack, but, I mean, I guess $400 sounded way better than $2,000, so, you know, but, yeah, so, I'm going to take off all of these extra things styrofoams or whatever it's called okay so I just took everything off of the backpack took all of the stuffings out and all that it did come with a dust bag so that's really cute um, again I did get this on Amazon it is the Tory Burch Fleming backpack on Amazon. I got it for $449.62. So let me show you guys without any of my information. So this is it. $449. And then online for Tory Burch, it was $558. So I pretty much saved hundred dollars by getting it on Amazon so that was a plus but what really sold me for this backpack were the straps because look how cute it is it has the little cute chain gold um, straps but yeah this is what it looks like Ugh. I know on the website they do have different colors not too sure about the one on Amazon because all I knew was that I wanted the black one so yeah in my front it has a big zipper pocket I think the print is really cute you just open it like that and there's a the pocket this will probably be like my mommy pocket because every mom needs a mommy pocket with their bags and then on the side, it has um, two pockets on the side. And they're both magnetic. And then inside is also magnetic. The flaps are magnetic. So, I mean, I did hear re reviews about the um, flap not being able to close all the way and like it'll just be open so I don't know I'll keep you guys updated about that but, but yeah and then once you open the flap it just has these tassels and then you can I'm not too sure what to call it you can make it tighter and whatnot and then this is the inside so yeah, inside is pretty, <clears throat> I mean, it's a decent size. I wouldn't use this as a diaper bag if you have like 
newborns but for Amari because he is a toddler and he doesn't need as much things as a newborn now I think it would be like a perfect size to just hold like some wipes maybe like two or a full or a couple um, pull ups as well maybe like a change of clothes and then like I said all my stuff can go in the front pocket <laughs> or it has the side pockets as well oh, oh my goodness but yeah, I think it's a pretty decent size to have as a toddler backpack. Um, if you want to wear this to school or for like college students or whatever, not too sure how convenient this will be just because it doesn't look like it'll fit a laptop. Maybe like an iPad, but not a laptop. Yeah. Your iPad could probably fit in here. But yeah, I think it, like an iPad, the big ones or the mini ones would be perfect to fit in here. But other than that, I don't think it'd be convenient if you carry your MacBook and stuff. But yeah, it's so cute for my first Tory Birch um, purchase. This is how it looks. On. This is how it looks. It's not too big, not too small. So, and I don't think the straps would be, um, like if I were to have a lot of things in my backpack, I don't think it would be uncomfortable because it doesn't feel like it would engrave in your shoulders. You know what I mean? So I think this would just be like a perfect everyday backpack. So yeah. I'm currently saving up for the Fleming, um, I think it's the satchel. The, it's like crossbody. Yep, the Tory Birch Fleming's satchel. I am currently trying to save up for that too, and when I do get that, I will be doing a review on it as well. <laughs> um... But yeah, this is my first Tory Burch purchase. If you guys haven't heard me say it the other 500 times, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I love how it looks. The leather looks nice and clean. The pattern is super cute. The tassel is super cute. The inside is cute. The chain is cute. This whole bag is just overall cute. And I like how it has the handle. So you know if you're like on the go or whatever. <laughs> So if you're on the go, you can just like pick it up and grab it or whatever. Yeah, in the comments down below, let me know what your guys' favorite Tory Burch purchase is. Um, I'm currently also looking into the one, the satchel that I told you guys about, and the Tory Burch Miller sandals. I'm debating if I want to spend that much money on some sandals, so or the flip flops, <coughs> but. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know what other Tory Burch products you guys like. And yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a pretty like Come on, babies. <laughs> it's a decent bag that I think that I will love. Well, I already do love it, but that I will grow to love to be my everyday bag. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Come on, babies. <laughs> no, you're going to say bye-bye. The video is done already. No, to not. It's not? No. But Mommy's done with her review. So, see you guys later.